Hmm, should I really do this now? Well, if I'm gonna do this now, it only means one thing. There's only one man for this job. And we all know who that is! It's Ouija time! Yes! And believe it or not, I think this is going to be the last episode that we play as Luigi in this Let's Play. So take it in now, Luigi fans. This is it. This is his last time to shine. And oh boy, is he going to be helpful here. Uh, one of the green stars here. You almost have to have Luigi for it. It's the second green star. And it's one of the hardest ones in the game. It's very similar to... The, green st the third green star in Shiverburn, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. We still have to get the first green star, so let's do that really quick. And it's really early on, so I'm not going to cut anything. Let's just quickly make our way over here. And let's fight these hammer bros, just for old time's sake. And I'm gonna let you enjoy this music for a little bit. Alright, so the first green star is actually over here on this flower segment, you just have to f kind of fall into it. So just keep an eye out for it. I don't remember exactly where. Oh, don't get hit by anything here, too, otherwise I might miss it. Green star is right over here in this corner, just gently float down to it. And it's a piece of cake, no problem. But the second one is a problem. I will meet you there. Alright, here's a nice short... Well, not a very good job getting to the shortcut. <laughs> okay, this is kind of nerve-wracking, getting to this launch star. But there you go, there's your shortcut to the launch star. Very easy with Luigi. Well, I, I shouldn't say very easy because I got down to one health there. But, I guess this is a good place to start from this planet. Now, the second green star, like I said earlier, is similar to the one in Shiverburn, where you carry your clouds... Uh, through the first couple plants to actually get to the green star because you needed clouds to get it. This is the same deal. It's, uh, the green star is actually on the plant after this and you need clouds to get to it. Of course, there are plenty of refills here, but you want to make sure you get through this with most of your clouds. Probably two. I mean, even with Luigi, you're going to need two clouds to get to it. This is the actual green star. It requires really far along jumping. So, I believe that cloud power up right up here is the last one that we'll get. So, let's try to get up here. Oh, crap. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of my power up. Okay. Just get up here. One cloud should be enough. Two would be better. If you have Mario, you definitely want to have two. Luigi can probably do it with one. It's right if you can pass this bridge, it's right out there, right out into the distance. The Magic Koopa can really mess you up here, so don't lose your power up either. Just ignore the Magic Koopa. See how far that is? That's ridiculous. I don't even think I can make that. No, I probably should have. Uh, man, I probably should have. Oh, I got the checkpoint in. I did. Ah, oh, crap. I just realized I got the checkpoint. Damn it, don't get the checkpoint when you're doing this either. Uh, I'm gonna have to exit and re-enter. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, that was a little bit of a better jump right there. Oh man, it's just a bit out of reach. Okay, I didn't. I, I skipped the checkpoint this time, which is good. Oh man, I might need to try to get there with uh, two clouds. Two clouds, that'd be no problem for sure. God, I can't imagine trying to do that in Mario.
Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, you need every little inch of air to make that. I cannot imagine getting that with Mario. It's just ridiculous. All right. So since this is Luigi's swan song, and uh, since Luigi's Mansion, he's kind of been known. He's kind of been associated with the haunted themed type of areas. We're gonna do the two Boo Galaxies to send out Luigi. Because you know how much he loves those ghosts. So let's do it. Starting with Boo Moon Galaxy. And all the green stars are, are pretty far into the galaxy. Uh, you probably just saw that one. It's in the book. So yeah, I'll cut straight to these. Alright, so green star number one is on the uh, black snake that actually leads to the secret star, if you remember that. Wait for it to kind of come out here. Oh, what? whoa, 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 I thought I was going to jump in and die. So if you follow along with this, and eventually you're going to have to kind of jump out to the green star. It's, this is this is pretty tough. Uh, I'm going to need to be quiet to focus. And, oh, don't do that, don't do that. Right there. Okay, there we go. Wow. My first playthrough, that gave me a lot of trouble. Alright, see you for number two. Alright, green star number two is actually on this moon planet, so you just kind of jump down to it. So, just with the spin, I guess I had to spin there, but... This is kind of tucked away, you might have to spin for it, but I had no problem. Alrighty, so green star number three is on this last planet, the folding book. And you actually have to activate it because it's way out in the air. Um, I don't believe I don't remember if it wanted to get on the very top of the book or just like right up here. Hmm. Yeah, we might need to get to the very top of that. Just long jump out to it. These boos are really annoying. I just hate how they follow you. I hope we can get on top of this. Alright, there we go. And before it folds back, jump out. And there we go. So, that is it for Boo Moon Galaxy, and let's do the other one, which is Haunty Haws. Alright, and once we complete this galaxy, that will actually complete World 3 all the way. We've actually already completed World 2 completely as well. I've been saying the word complete a lot. But yeah, we have the gold crown on World 2, and after this is done, we'll have World 3 golden crowned. And I believe these... I don't think any of these green stars take place on the segment where you have to use Yoshi and light up the uh, path. Uh, you can see the first one right underneath the bonus area. It's kind of tough to get, actually. Because it's like it's tucked underneath it, so you do definitely have to spin into it. Yeah, see, that's actually really hard. <laughs> but thankfully, it's at the very beginning, so you have to you don't have to go through a bunch of crap to get it. And again, you can like, spin these guys to make them go invisible. So in case you didn't know that, <laughs> we're nearly at the end of the game, and I'm just now showing you that. We haven't done, like, any bonus areas in this playthrough. It's kind of funny. We did, like, two of them, I, I guess. Like, I only showed the first one, and then I did another one just because I felt like it. You know what, let's do it just for old times' sake. Let's just do one more bonus area. For the hell of it. Let's see if we can actually complete one. Oh, what the- see, I hate how the pumpkins do that. Yeah, these are actually pretty hard to do these, because they don't give you a lot of time. Like, like, some of the later ones are nearly impossible. But I actually have no problem with that. Can we get out of this? Okay, thank you. So after that little diversion, we'll go on to our next planet, where green star number two is. And, yes, we have to pull a triple jump on these moving platforms. Let me... Camera, stop being a jerk. Okay, well, okay, yeah, you can see the shadow right there, so I guess that's your indication. 
And you want to do like your last jump off of this hump. So let's just take some timing. I don't know exactly what position you need the platform to be in. And with Luigi's weird momentum, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to get... See, Luigi's actually harder to do triple jumps with because his... Like, it takes a while for him to gain momentum. I don't know if I ever explained that at all. But yeah, he doesn't gain momentum as well as Mario. But once he does, like, he's, like... He is faster than Mario at full speed, but it takes a while for him to actually get going. So that can kind of trip you up. It's it's tough to play as Luigi. I mean, yeah, he has that those higher jumps, which do things like that, which come through in situations like that. Even though Mario probably could have gotten that pretty easy as well. But man, his traction is just oh, it's so hard to play with. All right, so Luigi just has one more star to grab in this playthrough, and that will be it. So let's go get it. I will meet you there. The final green star in Haunty Halls. Alright, the last green star is at the end of this segment, so it's on this variant of the galaxy, this really annoying one, we have to deal with all these matter mouths. And you have to do a tr I can't really show it because the camera's not going to be nice, the camera's very picky in this uh, star. But you have to do a triple jump like right away. You can see it right there. Oh, don't fall down. What the hell? I didn't know you could fall. Th I guess, well... I mean, I did know you can fall through those, but those aren't very easy to fall through, so... I guess it's the first time for everything. Let's try this again. And you almost fell through. Well, now you did fall through again. Wow! I never fall through those, and I just fell through them twice in a row. Alright, take three. Maybe that might be good. There we go, Luigi's last leap. I guess he didn't want to stop playing just yet, so he decided to die a couple times for us. Alright, so there we go. That is it for the Boo Galaxies, and we now have 229 stars, 11 more to go. That's, that's it, just 11 more green stars to go, and that just means one more Green Star episode to go. I'm gonna get the rest of the 11 in the next video, so yep, the next video is gonna be the last of the Green Stars. I'll be getting those Mario. So let's say one last goodbye to Luigi. Goodbye, Luigi! Oh my god, that was embarrassing. I'll never be doing that again. If you guys were annoyed by the whole Luigi thing, well, you don't have to hear it anymore, so... Next time, let's play Super Mario Galaxy 2. We will finish the Green Star journey. Peace.